Good morning, this is Pastor Brandon M. Spriggs from the Zion Hill Agape Baptist Church in Capitol Heights, Maryland. And this is your morning message in five minutes. Okay, so quick question, who likes roller coasters? I don't, I really don't enjoy roller coasters all that much. Most of the time I get on roller coasters, I'm just being brave for my friends. Or if I got a group of uh, kids with me, I get on it just so that they don't stay, they don't think I'm a scaredy cat or something like that. But I don't really like roller coasters. I, I Call me weird, but I just don't like being flipped all around, disoriented to the point where I'm about to vomit all over my nice clothes. And I took time to pick out these clothes <clears throat> for this activity today. Uh, I really don't care for roller coasters all that much. I think mainly because I feel so out of control. Whenever you get on a roller coaster, the first sign that things are going to get bumpy and that things are not going to be in your control is that they put you in a harness, not a seatbelt, a harness. They strap you down like you're about to get cleared for takeoff, like you're about to take a rocket to the moon. That's kind of concerning to me. I think that's the first sign that things are just going to get bumpy and roller coasters always start off slow you get on this little runway you go up 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 and everything just seems fine wow look at the view up here look how beautiful things are look how far i am from the ground i can't i can't get any higher than what i am right now and then all of a sudden you go down, you twist it around, you turn upside down. All of this stuff happens with roller coasters. And life is a lot like a roller coaster. Here's the encouraging thing about being on this roller coaster of life, especially for those of us who are Christians. Yeah, it may get bumpy. Yeah, it may rattle you. It may shake you. It may turn you upside down. It may uh, make you disoriented so that you don't know whether you're coming or you're going. But really, even though you're not in control, you realize that someone is in control and that someone is God. God is in control. He is the track and he's the pulley system and he's the controller of everything on this roller coaster ride called life. And if you trust him, you'll get through it. Now you won't get through it without some scares and you won't get through it without some twists and some turns, but you will get through it because like every roller coaster, it starts at a point and it has an end destination in mind. Please remember that every time that life gets hard, every time that it seeks to turn you inside out, please remember that God has a final destination in mind and you are on track just like a roller coaster for your final destination. Just stay the course. Just stay on the ride. Don't get off. Please don't get off, but keep going and you're going to make it to where you're supposed to be. So Father, in your son Jesus' name, we just thank you today that even though things might get rough and things might get tough, you promise to be with us in the good times as well as in the bad times on this roller coaster ride of life. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that you're carefully guiding us to where we ought to be, and we're going to make it there safely because we're in your care. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. This has been Pastor Brandon M. Spriggs from the Zion Hill Agape Baptist Church in Capitol Heights, Maryland. This is your morning message in five minutes. Till next time, keep advancing the kingdom.